Seen Pula Mara, can I start uh, by asking you, <coughs> what else did we expect? We expected a counter-attack by the Prime Minister if Rahul Gandhi will speak ill about the youth of Kashi. You know, if Kashi is close to the Prime Minister's heart, it is his constituency. Obviously, we should have expected this counter-attack. <coughs> this is politics. Good evening, Shreya. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, there's nothing to feel bad. It's a political battle. Gloves are off. But I think what the Honorable Prime Minister should do hmm. is answer specific charges le uh, leveled by Mr. Gandhi rather than getting into semantics and rhetoric. The fact of the matter is, and I quote data, hmm. Uttar Pradesh, the liquor sale has gone uh, 14 percent higher. Uh, the government revenues almost 42,000 crore rupees annually from liquor sales. And uh, we have a severe liquor problem, not just in Uttar Pradesh, but a drug problem across the India. We're facing a cardiac arrest, heart attack pandemic in the country. Youngsters don't have jobs. Uh, unemployment is the highest it's ever been in 45 years. 1,25,000 youngsters have committed suicide for lack of jobs. This is NCRB data. So we have a massive issue. Now, I don't say that the economy is not growing. It is growing, but that's not leading to job growth. And there is a liquor and drug problem facing our country today. And if a political opponent is raising that issue, that does not make him anti-India, anti-Uttar Pradesh, anti-Kashi. That actually makes him pro-Kashi, pro-Uttar Pradesh, pro-India, that he's raising a very pertinent point about issues, about problems that are facing the youth. We have a demographic advantage that should not turn into a demographic um, disadvantage or demographic disaster. And if you want to save people from the drugs and the alcohol mafia operating, why is that such a bad thing? Why doesn't the prime minister um, announce two specific things? That he, there will be some sort of, uh, you know, uh, there will be some sort of regulations. There will be investigations into how drugs are coming in. And B, why doesn't he address the problem of joblessness and of the heart attacks that are growing in this country? It's crazy the amount of youngsters growing. Your viewers are watching. Okay. How many youngsters do they know who are just okay. getting cardiac arrest? He takes credit. One second, just 10 seconds. He takes credit but you know, for the vaccines that but everyone you know, has when got. you're a politician, Tessin... What is the research You know, when you're a... How is Tessin, everyone dying? When you're a politician that. in a state... Arif Tehseen, when you're a politician in a state asking for votes, you don't go and say, na, ki mujhe kashi mein ladke drunk mile, nasheri mile, they were dancing, they were drunk. Thoda con you know, you're a politician. You need to know what to say, when to say and where to say it. You can't fire Shreya. these missiles randomly and then expect not to be attacked in return. Shreya, I've said the same thing that Mr. Gandhi said. Tell me where am I or Mr. Gandhi factually wrong. Shreya, I, leave me. Don't judge me. Don't judge Mr. Adhikari or the BJP spokesman, Anila ji or the SP spokesperson. Just let your viewers tweet you or WhatsApp you. Are youngsters around them dying of heart attacks? Yes or no? Has this happened after COVID vaccines been thrust into people? Yes or no? Are we getting brain strokes or no? And is there a job problem? If you are raising this issue, does that, Shreya, make me, Tessin, anti-India, that my youngsters are today getting cardiac? Suddenly, so you're talking to someone, he's dead. She's dead. Why aren't we raising these issues and couple this with a drug problem, the alcohol Tessin. problem? Are we not sitting on a grave crisis in our country? Uh -huh. Does that make us anti-India? Does that make us okay. anti-Uttar Pradesh? These are our people no, you're that fighting for. Nothing you say, nothing anyone says in this country makes them anti-India. I'm a, 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 believer, a believer of that. But Tessi, you know, maybe, maybe what we should do is, maybe what we should do is, hear from the Prime Minister and hear from Rahul Gandhi. Uh, let the viewers decide. I'll get in the other guests after that. Let's quickly play out what the Prime Minister has said. I to listen to their कांग्रेस के साहिब परिवार के युवराज का कहना है और चौंक जाएंगे आप कांग्रेस के युवराज परिवार ने क्या कहा वो कह रहे हैं और काशी की धरती पर आके कह रहे हैं काशी के नौजवान यूपी के नौजवान नशेड़ी है ये कैसी भाषा है भाई मोदी को गाली देते देते तो इन्होंने दो दशक बिता लिए लेकिन अब ईश्वर रूपी जनता जनार्दन पर यूपी के नौजवानों पर ही ये लोग अपनी फ्रस्ट्रेशन निकाल रहे हैं जिनके अपने होश ठिकाने नहीं है वो यूपी के मेरे काशी के बच्चों को नशेड़ी कह रहे हैं वाराणसी में देखा मैंने 
रात को बाजा बज रहा है ठर जा ठर जा बाजा बज रहा है वहां पे शराब पिए यूपी का भविष्य रात को शराब पिए नाच रहा है डांस कर रहा है परिवारवादी पार्टियों की एक और पहचान है ये अपने परिवार से बाहर किसी भी दलित आदिवासी को आगे बढ़ने नहीं देना चाहते दलित आदिवासियों का बड़े पदों पर बैठना इन्हें बर्दाश्त नहीं होता है आपको याद होगा जब देश में पहली आदिवासी महिला राष्ट्रपति बनने के लिए महामहिम द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी चुनाव लड़ रही थी तो किन किन लोगों ने उनका विरोध किया था किन किन पार्टियों ने उन्हें हराने के लिए सियासी लामबंदी की थी वे सब की सब यही परिवारवादी पार्टी आई थी जिन्हें चुनाव के समय दलित पिछड़ा आदिवासी अपना वोट बैंक नजर आने लगता है इनको काशी और अयोध्या का नया स्वरूप बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं आ रहा आप देखिए अपने भाषणों में राम मंदिर को लेकर कैसी कैसी बातें करते हैं कैसी कैसी बातों से हमले करते हैं मैं नहीं जानता था कि कांग्रेस को प्रभु श्री राम से इतनी नफरत है भाई और बहनों ये अपने परिवार और अपने वोट बैंक से बाहर देख ही नहीं सकते सोच ही नहीं सकते